going to be a very interesting video, I think. It's gonna be a series that I've planned for like a while. Well, I wanted to do like separate videos on them, but why not make it like a three-part series? Why not, shall we? So you want to start a Depop, your own online shop, mainly Depop. I have my own Depop. Surprising! Today is gonna be a day where I show you how I list my items slash post my pictures on Depop. Very interesting. Very um, exciting, yes. Alright, so I have a couple of shirts that I want to try on, take pictures of. Let's do that. Best lighting that I can get right now. I have to take that down. So, the thing that I like to use is my phone to take pictures because I can see myself in the picture frame so it will be an easier way to see if the picture comes out or not or there's another option, option two, where you can record yourself and then screenshot the video so you don't have to worry about your poses, you can just go straight into another pose and don't have to worry about specific pictures if it got the perfect shot, if you know what I mean. If not, then um... Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna take some photos. These are the items that I'm gonna show you that I will be taking pictures of. Uh, they're just mostly tops and one backpack. It's gonna be a very long process. The longest process. The photo shoot. One thing that I like to do is to accessorize. That helps your item look good a little bit. A little bit. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine. Baby girl be mine. Yeah, hey. Look, pick up your phone, I need your attention. My girl so bad, we call her detention. Next shirt. I am so glad your mama like me. Sweat up with Cupid, told to fight me. I stole your love, he shot my heart. I'm losing breath, it's getting dark. I think I might need CPR. Tell me, do you love me like I do? Tell me what you willing to prove. Cause I ain't got nothing to lose. It's true. You mean the world to me. Travel around the globe, but I know that you the only girl for me. And I gotta let you know. Chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes notes that say I love you all the time. Roses at your feet, baby girl, be mine. Baby girl, be mine. Look, you know you the baddest in the game. Show you how to blow like no way. Baby, I ain't hard to please. Girl, tell me what you need. Year round Valentine. I'm just trying to get some time. That's it. Hi guys, so my camera died. So we're gonna do editing. It's like currently the next day. All right, so take out my phone and we are gonna open the Visco app. All right, and now we're gonna take out the one that I want to edit. So I wanna edit the pink one. So we're gonna edit that. What I usually like to do if like it's not cropped the way I want it, I will crop it to my specific preference. So like right there. For some reason, most pictures are, they don't show the face for some reason. It's like very popular on Depop. I guess it's because people wanna imagine the clothes on their body and the face is a little too distracting. I, I'm not sure, but it depends on you. You can show your face if you want to, if you wanna model those pictures like that. Or you can just like take pictures of the item itself or like how I'm doing so it depends on you really so what I like to do is just increase the exposure just like a little bit very little and then the contrast just by a little bit and then the saturation just a little too and that's it that's all I do like literally that's all I do and then I go next and then I just save it and then I'm just gonna readjust like the cropping on the other photos like that next and then save and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to put copy edits and then paste it on the ones that I want to put. 
All right, and I'm just showing you one example of the photos I'm doing. I feel like it'll take way too long if if I just recorded doing all the edits for my photos, but I will put them here now. And that's it. You just save them to your Save them to your gallery. Okay, and after you do that, you wanna make sure you get pictures of the tag. Some items may have tags, and if they don't have tags, you wanna specify that they do not have tags in your description. All right, now we're gonna open Depop, and we are going to post the pictures. So we wanna add the pictures, and then you wanna add the tag of the photo. Okay, so now we're in the description part. Description part is very important. It has the description, of course, of your product. You want to include what the item is, what color, if you want to, what it would look good in, and just make a very interesting description so that when people read it, they're like, wow! You want to include the size of the product, the models, like sizes, their height and size. Sometimes it gives people like a good idea of what, how it would look on them. And then of course it's the tags. I'm just gonna put pink tank top and then I'm gonna add a whole bunch of emojis because that's like my thing with my bio. I just like to add a lot of emojis. And then I'm just gonna say, this would look totally good in some shorts and a skirt some heart emojis again and then i would include the model sizes and then the shirt information okay and then now we're gonna do tags so these are mainly the main source of traffic that's gonna happen on your page is the tags so i would like to put women's wear hashtag women's wear and you only have a maximum of five hashtags and then the rest you can just write any words that relate to your product and then i'm just gonna add a random amounts of tags that relate to my product. Sometimes it helps to put it without hashtags for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it does help. So the next thing you wanna do is put the category, which I'm gonna put women's wear, I'm gonna put top, and then subcategory, you can put anything that you think would fit, and then the brand. Sometimes your brand is not on there, so you don't have to put it, it's very optional. And then my size for the top is medium. For shipping, that will be shown in another video that I'm going to do because it's like a whole nother topic. I usually put zero because Depop shipping is quite expensive, so I feel like it's very... People don't usually want to pay that much for shipping. So I like to include it in my price. I'm just gonna put it as $9, so $3, so I'll make $6 profit. And I didn't pay anything for the shirt, so... And that's it, and you just post it. And then there it is! Alright guys, I am so sorry about the whole confusion with the whole camera situation. I literally recorded this video the entire day and edited it and then realized like I hated the footage, how it looked like. So I had to redo everything and made me a little angry, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching this video so much. Like it means a lot to me. Depop has been, it's been a huge obsession. I just, I just can't stop thinking about it. I'm like on there every single day and like on instagram too trying to post my outfit i don't know it just reminds me of like your own shop and your own kind of like your own magazine in a way but it's not really a magazine i don't know it's just very exciting it's like a game to me for some reason anyways thank you for watching this video if you guys end up opening your own shop or even leave your um your depop your depop in the comments below i would totally love to check it out like <laughs> uh, i hope you guys end up doing your own depop if not then it's fine it's not for everyone thank you guys so much okay bye guys see you guys in the next video